It's cracking with a YouTube. It's your boy Ant Diesel. What up? Wanted to show you guys my. Yeah, this is my, my newest firearm. And this is already a year and some change old. It is the Generation 4 Glock 19. And you might notice it from my intro video. Let me uh, make sure it's on safe. Yep, yep. Nothing in the chamber. So this thing came with three magazines. 15 round magazines. Glock 19s that come with the 15. The Glock 17, which is also a nine millimeter. It comes with a longer slide and a longer grip. You know, 17 rounds plus one. So you add one, put one round in there and then you take out the magazine, top it off. It's 18 rounds. This one is 16 rounds after the top off. So let me show you the gun. Ooh, I'm showing y'all my whole, all my business. Yep, 9 by 19 Gen 4, Glock 19, made in Austria. Yep, so let me show, let me, let me break it down for you. So it is a four and a quarter inch barrel, black. I wanna, I'm thinking about getting the, uh, the uh, titanium alloy, but you know, that's for the near future. That costs about 130, 150 bucks. So that would be not right now. Got uh, the the U sight, and I already checked it. I know I'm muzzling the shit out of myself, but it has the U rear sight and then the white dot front sight. And they are polymer. Thinking about getting some uh, some big dot sights, some or some some night sights, whichever one comes first. Has the uh, the trigger well, you know. I, I like the uh, the flat front and then the has a little indention on the bottom, so that you can get a nice clean purchase. You know, the the higher up on the slide, the the more ability to control the recoil and. No flared magwell. I want to get the piece to cover this up so no dirt and, and lint and junk gets up in there and, you know, possibly ruins my gun. Now, if you notice, I have the the back strap, the, the elongated back strap, because, you know, I've experienced slide bite, which is when the slide, you know, it fires and then your hand's too high and then it catches the skin right there. It's a nasty little, uh, nasty little blemishes it leaves. You know, it does break skin because these things are under spring tension. The grips, I, I love the grip. Here, yeah, nicely serrated. You know, it has, uh, it has pyramids, little, little pyramids, you know, that you, that you grip onto. It's really, really good. I love it. Unlike the Gen 5, this, the Gen 4, has the finger grooves. I've never had an issue with them because my fingers just happen to slip right into them. It, it feels good. It helps with that recoil. It helps you keep, you know, when you're sweating, you're bleeding, you're, you know, it's raining, snowing. However, whatever the case may be, it helps with the, with the, the grip, you know, nice firm grip. You know, you get white knuckle grip on that thing. So it ain't going nowhere, you know. Then, you know, it has the uh, 1913 Picatinny on the bottom for for lights and um, other accessories, lights. You, you know, you put a damn bayonet on this damn thing you want to. But uh, I've actually seen one before. And then um, the dingus that Glock is famous for, it is once this is depressed, then you're able to actually pull the trigger without it being depressed trigger will not move now with it depressed 
it's able to shoot. And then it resets. With every pull of the trigger, it resets. And if you could see in there, there's the, the thing that actually stops it from the depression is right there. You could see it up against my white shirt. It stops it. But once it's depressed, that little hand, that little finger back there moves up. And then there's nothing in between the break of the trigger. Nice serrations. I, I like the serrations. You know, your hands sweaty, bloody, you know, nice and deep serrations. Real, real simple to, to charge this fire. You know, has a polymer, a, a pot, well, a double spring polymer uh, guide rod right in there. And I'm going to show you how to break this down right now. So, you know, see that little, that little, uh, switch right there there's one on each side so you pull that down you, you cock it back first of all and you pull that down and you pull the trigger boom probably one of the more simple firearms I got you know real real simple you know just pull these two levers down and you know, after it's cocked back, pull these levers down, pull the trigger, and then it just ejects. There's all the innards, you know, which they said there's 17 pieces to a Glock that makes it work. So, you know, that's awesome. You know, you ain't got to buy 300,000 pieces to, to configure your own how you want to. I like to keep my, my weapons nice and lubricated. Here's that double spring guide rod I was telling you about. And so the way you break it out, and my hands gonna get greasy because, like I said, I keep my keep my weapons lubed nicely. See the see the sheen on that? Yeah. And then here's the barrel. See that sheen on that? I told y'all when I tell y'all something, I mean it. Look at that rifling, 007. Let's get it. Yep. Thinking about getting me the uh, the Lone Wolf. Um. Yep. See. Thinking about getting me the uh, the Lone Wolf barrel. One of these days, if the Hearing Protection Act ever passes, and I don't have to spend an extra two hundred bucks and then wait thousands of years just to get my suppressor, I might want to get a barrel with the threaded ends with the threaded in so that I can actually put a suppressor on this. I'd like to own a suppressor, but like I said, with the Hair Protection Act not in effect, I would have to pay $200 for the actual tax stamp, NFA tax stamp, and then I would have to wait anywhere between six months to a year to even get what I purchased six months to a year ago. I'm the type of person, if I bought it now, I want it now. So it's going to be a little while before I get my my suppressor. I do want one. I have a couple of them I've been eyeing down. But like I said, I'm not patient. I, I don't have patience. Patience is, you know, those people in hospitals to me. I don't have the other one they talk about. But yeah, you know, it's just as easy to put, put together as it was to take down. You know, you got to... Have it catch the uh, the lip on the the barrel, because you know once the you know slide goes back, you uh, you know how it works. And then you know you just reconnect it, you line it up with the with the actual guide rails. There's the guide rails there. There's two back here, and they are metal. And then two up here. You line up the back with that, and then you just put it on. Fully functional. Yeah, I love it. The reason I got this is because I, yeah, you see the see the the sheen where my fingerprints are. Yeah, told you I lube my guns. I keep I like to keep my guns nice and lubricated. You know, it's just in case measuring. You know, I, I need them to work when they need them to work. So you know, I keep hollow points. These are I don't know what brand name. Let me see if it's written on the back of. 
Yep, Horn Hornady Critical Duty with the polymer nine millimeter, of course, nine millimeter. And then, let me get my face out so it'll focus. See that red tip? It's polymer. It's actually designed to penetrate clothing. You know? Uh, then I got the Hornady regular hollow points. I think those are XP, Critical Duty XP, and these are just Critical Duty. Not sure. I might be lying through my damn teeth. I don't know. Yep. So that is the hollow point there. Get my head up. See if I can get it to focus. Yep, so that is a hollow point there. You know, I keep these ones for werewolves because they silver. Nah, they ain't no silver. That's just the case. But uh, the I like these magazines because on the back it tells you how many rounds you actually have in there. Damn, phone ain't trying to focus, but 15 rounds. Once you see that 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 color behind the, the 15 round, that means you are fully loaded. And then it has steel feed lips. So, you know, in, in a, in a gunfight, you know, you don't want to be able to pl have to play stuff down gently just to, you know, get it working correctly. You know, you want to be able to just get it going and drop this one. No matter how it falls, you know, just drop it and then on to the next one. Load up. Let's get it. You know, back to action. So it did come with three. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to drop another video and tell you how much I paid for it and why I actually ended up getting the firearm. Blame it on rap music. Sons of bitches. But yeah, so don't study my moves. Check my footwork. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification. Come kick it with me for just for a little bit. I ain't taking too much time. You can get 12, 12 minutes back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. So, you know, don't study my moves. Check my footwork. Peace.